And finally tonight, guys, this story should be taken with a 100% grain of salt, but if true, oh damn. Oh, oh damn. Apparently, Ewan McGregor is reportedly coming back to play Obi-Wan Kenobi for episode 9. Uh, and this makes sense. Absolutely, positively, 100% makes damn sense. It really does to me. Now, we know. All the crap going on with Lucasfilm right now. We know that it's been it's it's been a thing. It's it's been a it's been a bad thing. We know that. Uh, you know, the, with with this with the movies being technically put on hold, but that hold is just to kind of reconfigure a few things. There's still an active development. Nothing's been canceled. Basically, they're trying to divert away from people that are out there going like you know, uh, you know, dancing around from maybe Johnson's trilogy being taken out or something like that. Obviously, they're trying to figure out a few things, and obviously, uh, Kathleen Kennedy is definitely having to figure out a few things. But this rumor, if it's true, will basically, I think, do a lot to kind of like reinvigorate fans, right? It will do a lot to kind of get fans back on board, if for nothing else than the damn nostalgia factor, right? If nothing else than the damn nostalgia factor. But this is what the article says. Fans of Obi-Wan Kenobi have likely been focused on the long-rumored spin-off movie that is reportedly in pre-production. However, a new rumor claims that we will be seeing the character long before that. While many have expected Ewan McGregor to return as Obi-Wan if any spin-off movie is actually happening, this new rumor claims that McGregor is actually set to return to the role in Star Wars Episode Nine. While this is pretty big news, if true, it should be taken with a pure scream of sodium chloride you have at your disposal. This rumor from an unnamed source reported in The Sun, and while that doesn't mean that it isn't true, it also doesn't mean that it's by any means confirmed. However, the source claims that McGregor is set to secretly uh, film for the next Star Wars movie, and that would be Star Wars Episode Nine, not the Obi-Wan Kenobi spinoff that has been rumored to be the next Star Wars movie to follow the current trilogy. Well, okay. Let's let's take a look at that for just a brief second. If that's true, which big if true, uh, it it actually does well to kind of act as a, a backdoor pilot, if you will, for Ewan McGregor coming back as Obi Wan, right? I think so. I really feel that uh, ultimately this would be a good way for him to come back as Obi Wan to to get us refamiliarized with the character. Granted, it's been thirteen years. Uh, since we last saw him in the role, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be fun to, you know, not going to be good to see. Um, and, uh, and we already saw Yoda come back in episode eight. So, you know, he came back, it was a puppet from episode, you know, six. And, uh, it was cool to see that. It was really cool to see that. It was actually one of the good moments in that movie, uh, to have that nostalgia there. Now we know that the Obi-Wan movie, uh, was reportedly happening. Uh, I just heard the other day that apparently Stephen Daldry had exited the project. So that might be one of the things that's in limbo. But if if Ewan McGregor comes back as older Obi Wan to instruct, uh, you know, Ray or to help Luke out or something like that, because I'm sure Luke will be a Force ghost uh, if he's not once you know revived by the midichlorians, Considering what we learned about George Lucas's take on on the uh, the next trilogy, uh, what he wanted to do by going into the microbiotic world, it's entirely possible that J.J. Uh, Abrams will take from that and 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 re and repurpose it for this. Uh, and quite frankly, I think that would just kind of wash away a lot of what we saw in episode eight, to be honest with you. I think, I think that I think that would really, really, really help in the whole process. But we have to wait and see what's going to happen with that. Uh, but I do think that if, if it's received well, if Obi-Wan is received well in the movie, then they might go, look, we're going to kind of set this up as like, oh, we're going to do a prequel with him. But it's going to be actually Ewan McGregor. You know, as a prequel, uh, as opposed to Alden Eichenreich playing a young, young Solo. So I do think that is ultimately going to be what they do here. It just seems to make sense from a marketing perspective, uh, from also a market testing perspective. But that being said, anything could happen. I don't fully know. And I do really, 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 really want to know more, which I'm hoping we'll get, uh, we'll get soon enough. 